so the delicacies behind just being human and then so but I like to put the silent E at the end Hum human um, it, it's a you know that it, it entails perhaps looking at the word delicacy did you know that it comes from the word delicate and now I like to go to the China shop where there is delicate China on shelves not only that but crystal and these things were made by people ha who have an affinity for listening to certain intelligences if it's crystals they're doing geometry there and the whole ambiance of whatever it is the china shop is metaphorical you can have gardens full of these intellectual uh, celebrations where it would be artistry well then you know about the china shop and um the elephant the elephant now you have an elephant and that's definitely the narcissist who doesn't get into detail of things at all uh, nothing really uh, some of them it's absolutely nothing will they get the details of and these ones are are really you know it takes a lot of work to um, get them I was gonna say to have a skill in something because really they can these types can um, can learn all they want about doing carpentry or doing plumbing or anything like that specialty it should be a specialty where where you're not leaving it to where you have to come back to it later and tag somebody's wallet <laughs> about it but that's narcissism for you that's that's the they're just in for making to it for making money right so so this is just a strange thing to look at like what's what's kind of behind it it's like this money you know these people are you know they don't they have a nice deck in the mountains or a home if it's a it's a, if it's a nice deck you have paid a lot of money for the wood that is redwood you're doing if you're doing it right you have bought sequoia redwood why because in the mountains it's extreme weather hot cold ice packing up and um, sequoia redwood is a has all the natural oils no matter how much you cut it it still stays this oily fireproof in fact retardant um, especially the bark material that is poisonous even you don't want to get a splinter in it because it'll make you get infected it then the uh, termites don't necessarily burrow into it neither do rats and you never need to put see if you're paying twenty five dollars a, a, a two by four for your deck um i'm going on and on about this so i have no, nothing better to do so i hope you like storytelling and, and, and character character movements um I'm a live entertaining artist, a motivational speaker, as a matter of fact. So up here, yes, you can see it. Um, well, there's a beautiful redwood deck that they just installed. It's a great addition to their going out, and it's not dirt, and things can come through. Voila! They need nothing else. Well, what happens? Somebody is saying, somebody tries to tell them that they need to, they need to finish it. Get it finished. They need to, they need to sand it and really get it finished and so somebody and that cost well, 500 to, to twelve hundred dollars of course some guy some alcoholic is gonna be like blah, blah, blah. yeah and, and the thing is the well-known thing is you're supposed to accept that you have to come back and do it in a couple of years you know because the weather the weather um, wears it off <laughs> no it doesn't uh really what happens is that the, if it's redwood the, the redwood will reject anything even paint it, lacquer um, it's hard you cannot put anything maybe a little linseed oil you need to spray it down you if anything you pressure wash it you do you can sand it and leave it it'll just come back to its natural redwood it's beautiful but people don't know that I've seen it over and over again this one guy he, he kept doing it for this one place you know just milking the millionaires there um, narcissist good job yay God uh, the pollution that they do leave behind you know as far as that um, 
sanding the uh, the the decayed, eroded from the from the redwood. It's nothing else but the redwood saying, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, duh. Why did you pay that much money for the wood? Is it because you need to paint it and, and really protect it? No, it has its own protection. That's what you do with red, redwood siding. That's what I have is redwood around my house. It's like three quarter inch or even more. Uh, redwood um, heavy duty um, boarding and then it's a cabin though there's no insulation they've done that with a lot of housing up here the back cabin has insulation and I would love to tack on a bathroom anyway myopic Shauna was I talking about something here what I what I wanted to talk about is how like well this day you know I'm I'm prepared to, to beat some people that walk on my property you should See, the next door neighbor, two doors down, thinking about it, it's like you can almost admire the way that they greet people at their door that they don't know that has not an appointment to be there. They they, they, they have a gun or barrel on them. <laughs> it's happened where, um, it doesn't happen very often around here, but, but somebody was stranded in a sleet fucking storm. There was a party and, and kind of got, got tipsy or something and he fell. And he couldn't find, it was so sleeting and icy, he couldn't find his way, he didn't know where he was. He slid down this guy's driveway that, that uh, finally he would get to the door and he's in pain. He hurt himself, he, he doesn't know where he is. And I'm looking at it because I heard him screaming. I'm like, God, he's not in my yard, but he's over there. And so my neighbor turns on the light and the first thing he's greeted with is a, is a rifle. Who the fuck are you? What the heck? You know, name, number. Resident, papa, you know, or whatever, and, uh, yeah, it was a terrible scene, and didn't get much help there, I think it was more like pushed him back into a puddle up there, <laughs> so, my, what I, what I know I have to do with these kids that think that they're gonna silence me, I'm, I'm a public somebody, I'm actually trying to help these people, by the way, I'm, they just don't like, I understand it, and I'm gonna let them know, and I'm gonna approach them, I will not hesitate, and, and, in causing bruising if they um, don't just run away I put a sign up at the top of my driveway with my car backed up there it's right up right on my and my property I can do anything I want to <laughs> apparently and I think screaming at the top of my lungs is, is part of it I had a neighbor in the city that used to do that no, we never called the cops on her, but she always called the cops on us. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry. I don't think I'd like that neighbor, maybe. I think I took lessons from her. Anyway, um, back to beating people who are not appointed onto my property at any time, who are the same people that did some illegal activity on my property, which is to film me. I'm hearing that that's, that's highly illegal, and they could be persecuted, they can go to court, and they could do some jail time for that, if I really wanted to. And, uh, I don't really feel like doing any of this, but when they keep, when they keep, when I keep feeling like I'm getting a sock stuck down my throat, and I'm, I'm being the tr treated the same as, it's like, no, excuse me, you people are, are sick. See, they're trying to call me sick first, the first one to call me sick, right? That's a fucking narcissist for you, too, right there, it's like the fad. And of course, they're Christian, and they're going to pray for me. <laughs> and I told them, I said, you don't have the same God that I do, Hans. Think about it. Are you being completely deceived? So I backed my car up. It's my car. It's my property. <laughs> I put a sign that says, well, it's similar to this, but... The, what, what mine says is, um, it says, enter at the risk of Satan leaving you. Right at the top. And if that doesn't scare them enough, I'm going to, I'm going to go out like before I ring my bell, I'm going to feed my chickens and I'm going to feed my quails and I'm going to set my, my beautiful, I have a stick that I think would be really good to just fucking bap the shit out of somebody. The fuck out of here. I don't want to hear you people. Lawless, that's you are. That's why we have these problems. Get out of here. Let me tell you what you've done. 
by the way, and you don't like it, and you cannot silence me about that, I'm going to get the panel against you. Who's that? Well, that's the, um, see, my, my, this, these people said this, they called the sheriff on me. It's like, no, the neighbor called the sheriff on me. But they're like, I called the sheriff on you. So what they're saying is like they're one hive. And, and it's just like Mr. Smith's there saying it's connected to one spider, but there's many things. I call the sheriff on you. And it's like, but guess what? But guess what? Your sheriff is a fucking idiot. Knows he knows has no power. You people are lame because you can't settle your shit. That sheriff had no power. Let me tell you what, what, what it stayed open. I just said, I'm, I, I can take these people to court. And he says, we'll take them to court. And, um, you know, if you think about it, if, if this sheriff, see, he seems like he was in his 60s or something. And if he has any kind of knowledge about maybe there's regulations about this, like maybe, well, at the very least, and this is what, at the very least, is what I can do. And I, I don't mind ex escalating into court. Because uh, everybody's going to be doing this. A lot of people are going to be doing this. A lot of people have already been doing this. It's just going to escalate more. It's like, and I like, I would like to break the language down. By the way, this is a non-human infiltration who is harmful. It's it, they, they act in inhumane ways. How do I? How do you? Well, let's look at it. The law enforcement knows about the non-human. So does psychology. And let's just back away from all of the, the, the butt hurt and thinking we're going to, we're fearing for our, well, all of our stuff that we think we own here. If we're going to win, if we really want our ownership of something, know where you stand, like what, what to own. You can't own, um, you don't own your programming right now. That's what I'm saying. And you can take it back. That's what, what we're in the middle of, you know, a lot of astrologers will be talking about this, uh, uh, you know, we can mix it in and take, get it away from all astrology and say, by the way, this means <laughs> with Pluto going back into Capricorn, it, it's coming up where you can see a lot with Neptune going, really it's Neptune having gone backwards. If When Neptune goes backwards, it actually unveils its qualities as being completely decepting and so deception and we're looking at this we're looking at um religion being the, the mind controlling deception where does that come from well it's, it's the nice we're the nicey nice form of military that represents what huns hi jesus are, are we gonna are we gonna open their book and, and, and find the title what does it say you're forgiven until you learn universal law and, and you want to bother to get off of this plane that is that is basically your living hell. Me? I? Jesus? Hi. We we can go anywhere we want in the universe. We go in and out. and it, It's not the best neighborhood in the world. I mean, there's many other universes, but me? I'm the boss here. I, only because I, I give myself the authority. I'm taking it. You you are doing something here, which is, we're trying to figure it out. Is it is it just the stopping grounds where, where it's like, good, you could... You can have, it's like over there, you, you, you can have your, um, your, your asphalt encased paradise. Why does that happen to happen in a, in a, in a real life paradise that's trying to keep itself? I see somebody saying, keep idle, idle, wild, wild. I'm looking at the water table here, the, the water. I'm, I'm probably the only one. This is how, this is what, this is what makes me a leader here. Because I'm the, about about the about the environment and the land, and everything the way the way we behave. Because everything washes into the water, and I'm looking at it. I stay right next to the creek here. We we set our house up right in the, the creek. I communicate to the creek. But anything nobody has done it more than me on this on this mountain. There's there's factors we can weigh in about this community and it's just people think they come up they come up with a city mentality thinking oh just push it through a cookie cutter and they don't even think of any of the details they get into that minute 14 Whew. thanks for listening to this i'm gonna post this like on october 7th or something but uh yeah i'm prepared here on on the, on no uh, on the, uh september 20 22nd 2023 to you know, just 
to then my property as a sanctuary that I'm safe in and that I can call the police and say, no, these are trespassers. I'm, I'm going out as a, as a people that has a right to speak uh, through public domain. And that is, if it's just outside my road here, you know, they can, they can protest all they want against me, fine, but I thank God that I'm way back here by the creek and I have a bush by the water that if that water flows enough, I could just drown all that shit out and say, whatever, you know, and if they, but if they come here, I take the right to beat them. Okay, I'll spare you brain damage. I'm going to go for the, the feet and the legs and it's going to be brutal. It's going to be, you won't even expect that. You won't believe that I fucking carry through with that because you people are nonsense at this point. Not only because you don't talk to each other at all, you can go 20 years without acknowledging the leader here. I have been here. I'm not talking like an ego. So you, you like to approach it like that. And you think you're just, and so, but, but so now, then is then, and now is now. And so, yeah, but let's put that subject matter on the table. Now you're being poisoned even more by the money deals that you're going after and those deals include the free shit that you see buy one get two free yeah but get uh, see now what i see that could may might be happening which it's not hard to fucking see <laughs> those kids that came here those boys they're being hired by whoever has stacked they could be but there's there could be this thing see there's there's a bunch of that asphalt just poured on this property i know that it's somebody owns that private property they're doing whatever they want for the first time, it's never been there, but now it's a quarry holding this toxic asphalt that we just don't know where to put it. We didn't have enough yards. I had, say, be, I told people uh, over the community SM, warning, do not, please do not do this. Don't, don't fall for the asphalt thing. Don't, you, there's organic material you can use. I just kind of put it out there and I have a feeling I might have stopped and made somebody think twice, but so that's why maybe there's a pile out there or whatever. It could be. Um, so there's a pile out there. See, they, they're they hiring. They're saying, well, we have a tractor, man. All it costs is the price of the tractor to come and do it. Well, people are trying to, oh, really? Oh, God, really? <laughs> so I can just pay $250 and get and get on my private property, which it's not professionally done. That tractor, and that they just, they just, they just throw it down. And then he goes over it a couple times and, and they go, and then the edges have all kinds of, and it's really crappy shit and it needs to be refined better. And, but it stinks to all heavenly hell and little by little babes, little by little. I told a woman this in the market, but when I was able to go to the market, like seven years ago, I was sitting there looking for GMO corn. And I was just sitting there, and I was like, well, where's the GMO corn? And we, she walked in and got in the same aisle. She's kind of a friend of ours. We're kind of friends. We just have the longest conversations in the produce section. It's amazing over there, up here. We don't ever see each other, but then we really have these serious conversations when we see each other grabbing for the bananas at the fucking uh, zoo market over there. And I think that they, if that market was smart, they would open up a cafe that says, talk here, buy a latte, blah, 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 you know, and uh, poison them. Because if they're talking, make sure you put something in the latte. Get, let's get back to the asphalt. The, the people are just, pfft, another fucking deal that you got to do there. And it's like... I got to say, you know, what am I supposed to do? Do you want me to applaud you? Instead of putting, now I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I'm doing it all wrong. I got to get on the, on the, on the, the telephone poles and say, God, you guys, woo! good job, more asphalt, more asphalt. I mean, I could just get up in the morning and smell it. I think that the wind is coming this way. It could be a pine tree. No, it's asphalt. This way? No, it's asphalt. Why? Because everywhere I go. Maybe? Maybe? No? Well, it's certainly over in that direction. Shit, it doesn't give me an erection. Dr. Seuss, who are you? Well, I'm trying to entertain the youth. 